Hey everybody, it's Eric with Harris Aerobic here in Granbury, Texas, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps to rebuild an aerobic septic compressor made by Seco. This is the JDK40, and it's a very popular air pump for the Aeris Aerobic Systems here in Texas. Now this video is intended as instruction and guidance for licensed aerobic septic maintenance technicians only. Any manipulation of electrical breakers or associated wiring should be handled by a licensed electrician or licensed aerobic septic maintenance technician and is not intended for homeowners, renters, or any occupants with access to the system due to the risk of electrical shock and possible death. So let's go. Assuming you have already concluded that the compressor needs a rebuild kit, access the control panel and disable all breakers in the system. And remember, disabling all three breakers will not disable incoming power and the risk of electrical shock is still present. Now I was originally going to take the compressor to my truck, so I went ahead and disconnected the wiring to the compressor, uh, but decided last minute it would be just as easy to rebuild the compressor where it stood. Disconnect the air alarm line from the brass barb fitting. Next, disconnect the discharge line from the compressor. Turn the compressor over and using a Phillips head or 5 16 socket, remove the four overall cover screws. Gently pry the plastic overall cover off of the base. Undo the screws and remove the holder cover and set aside. Undo the screws and remove the valve box. Pull off the connecting pipe and repeat on the other side. Using a 7mm socket, unscrew the nut and remove the diaphragm and repeat on the other side. Notice the damage to both diaphragms. Many times only one diaphragm will be damaged, but both must be replaced at the time of rebuild. Line up the new diaphragm here and here and tighten down with new nuts. Push the new valve box onto the connecting pipe and screw down the valve box over the diaphragm. Repeat on the other side. The magnet holder should be perfectly centered at this point. Screw down the holder cover Place the overall cover back on the unit, flip over and install cover screws. Remove the filter cover. Replace the air filter. Reconnect the discharge line to the compressor. Reconnect the air line to the brass barb fitting. Reconnect the compressor wiring. Turn on all breakers and verify that the compressor is functional. Replace the compressor cover. Secure the control panel. And lastly, don't forget to place the system back in run mode so that should the occupants receive another alarm, they will hear it. That's it. On to the next system. If you feel that you have benefited from this video, please like and subscribe so that you won't miss the valuable lessons that I will be presenting in future videos. Y'all take care.